Hi, I'm David Conrad, and this is number 20 in the saga of Mark Clayton Southers. Pills, pills, pills. Twelve pills in the morning, wow. That's a lot of pills. Mistakes happen. We all know that. We've all made them from time to time. But you better be on your toes when a mistake can kill you. I'm just sick of pills. I'm sick of shots. It's nonstop all day long when you're in the hospital. I'm up to 34 pills a day. But hey, I guess when they're trying to keep your butt alive, you better comply. Look, it's probably better that we aren't living in the 1800s, right? Hell, if we were, I'd have a nub instead of a left leg. So, I give them blood and warm lemonade, and they give me Lorna Dunes and a juice pouch. I save those for the kids, but my Ray's quietly slides them into her purse. I say nothing, because I know she's stocking up for when they visit. I get at least three different pills for my bowels, right? One to regulate. Now, that was a great pill. It took a few days, but once it kicked in, I knew that every morning between 7.30 and 9 a.m., I was sending a brown package down to Alcasan. Well, at least when I was in Montefiore. I'm not sure where it goes all the way out in Harmerville, but I do know, like clockwork, it's going out on time. And I say, thank you, little pilly. Second one is to soften, which, by the way, is greatly appreciated. Oh yeah. I remember that fateful night at Highland Care Center when I could not move what seemed to be the size of a large can of dog food. And I remember having a male nurse that night. I remember the vision of him putting on rubber gloves and getting ready to go in. I was crying like a newly indoctrinated prison inmate when suddenly what felt like bite-sized Dunkin' Donuts started popping out. I went from crying to thanking the Lord above and crying tears of happiness and then laughing hysterically. To my relief, my body decided this was the only way to pass the mass. To tell the truth, most of my personal relief was that this male nurse did not have to physically, you know, remove it. So yeah, bring on the pills that will eliminate the scenario and keep me regular. And the third bowel pill is what I call the traffic cop. Like the one cop I used to be the downtown traffic director, you know, with the white gloves. I call this pill my Vic Sienka pill. Baby boomers, you remember him. Well, this pill was to control movement, and I don't know how these chemists figure all this stuff out. I'd hate to be that little mouse or guinea pig they use for this one. Anyhow, lots of pills, all day long. Of course, there have to be the pain pills, and I refuse to take the narcotic ones. They make me loopy. And believe me, when I say loopy, it takes a whole other dimension when a patient has a creative mind. I have a whole section of Chronicles that deal with the zone I was in when I was unconscious for five weeks, but that's some other stories I'm not ready to go with right now. So, no narcotics for me, regardless of how well they knock out the pain. This is my current list of beds. I've left a few out, but... Gabapentin or Neurotin, nerve pain. Iron supplement makes the poop black. Ultram, pain, higher than Tylenol, lower than Percocet. Promantine, decreases blood pressure. Keflex, antibiotic. Flornif, blood pressure, vitamin C supplement, melatonin, sleep, Miralax, bowels, keep you regular, Colatch, bowels, stool softener, Pepsid, and acid, Celebrex, inflammation and pain, Senecot, laxative, Cortel, blood pressure, Fluorcer, probiotic, digestive system, and I get a little shot in my stomach every morning called Love Knox. It's a blood thinner to prevent blood clots.